Well, we've got a true American hero on the line with us. Highest paid uh, star in television. Major endorsements of uh, big uh, products. But Charlie Sheen, for the second time, and in even more of a bold fashion, came out with his 20 minutes to the president, those 20 key bullet points, 60% of the commission saying a cover-up, a lie, a fraud. There should be a criminal investigation of the White House and Pentagon. He said, these are my questions. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. President, with Bob McElvain, with some of the other survivors and their families who want to meet with you and call for a real investigation. This is the change I voted for. And the media spun it and said, Charlie Sheen wants to hurt the families. The families all hate him with no evidence. True defamation, true slander, true libel. And so Charlie last Friday issued the challenge he said, any of you people, the daughter of McCain, Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, you come on a live TV show, you debate me on the facts. I'll bring the truth. You bring popular mechanics, whoever you want. And these cowards are real tough with their teleprompters, but they won't debate him. But they have ratcheted up the attacks to the nastiest stuff I've ever seen. There's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes as well, but that will come out in the future if Charlie wants to bring it out. Regardless, 9-11 Truth, back on the front burner. The establishment wasn't just able to use it for their police state and their wars this 8th anniversary. And now we're seeing all the new tapes coming out trying to counter us. Charlie Sheen, great to have you here with us. Great to be here, Alex. How are you, man? Good. Uh, there's a lot There's a lot to talk about. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Where Where shall we start? Wherever you'd like. Uh, well, I think... Um I think we got to talk about this 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 continuing uh, uh, mainstream media attack that is just so unfounded and and just baseless and, and without merit and, and is uh, is so desperately trying to swing the focus into a different direction that is uh, just mired in blatant fiction and total manipulation and it's just uh, it's so transparent it, it's 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 so predictable. I mean, if this is the best they got, how can we rely on any of these clowns for anything legitimate about any aspect of the news or, or, or the world we live in, period? Well, that's why they're all losing market share, is because people don't trust a damn thing they say. And we've got polls of 83% on CNN supporting you, 84% questioning the official story uh, in the New York Times. You're bad for reading the Washington Post quoting six of the ten commissioners saying it's a fraud. But see, they won't counter that. They make up stuff you never said. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're 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 really insistent on, um, on 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 spinning all sorts of, of, of quotes and theories and beliefs and ideas and statements that I've uh, put forth, and it's uh, it is such a blatant misrepresentation of of of, of what you and I have have, have been. You know, so uh, uh, so painstakingly uh, focused on here, and 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 so careful about you know the, the the bullet points that we chose and the way that we constructed the letter and and and, and the message that we're delivering that it's um it's just uh, I, I I've got to believe at some point there could be some legal action here. You know, I'm not saying that's where I'm headed with this because I think we got bigger fish fish to fry than than, than these. You know, worthless douchebags. But um, it's just a shame that uh, that they they've created the illusion that they that they command the truth, that they hold all the cards, that what they say is uh, is law. When in fact, it is uh, it's quite the opposite. You know, when they they're making statements uh, or the statements that I made about you know Bush and Cheney were behind this thing. It's an absolute cover up. It's you know they blew up the towers, and I think that. That, that Bin Laden was in contact with the CIA up until 9-11, and I think that this happened, and I think that, and it's like, no, no, guys, no, read the letter, be, you know, be responsible journalists, read the frickin' letter, and let's talk about that. Instead, they got to drudge up all types of stuff, you know, real or imagined, whatever, you know. Let, let's, let's for a second maybe, you know, peek into the, into the closets of, of some of these knuckleheads and, and, and see what skeletons lurk amongst their debris, you know? Well, that's the issue. 
is that on these shows they say Charlie Sheen says this, yeah. Charlie Sheen said that, and they're making up fake quotes when you deliberately, in your statements on this show and in the letter, said, I just want you to answer these questions. Six of the ten say there should be a new investigation, and their answer is, every family hates you, Charlie. You're hurting the families. They, they yeah. continue to use that that tired uh, excuse as a as a shield, as you as as you often put it, you know. And it's just uh, it's it's so shameful, and it's um, it's it's it just really it's just so unacceptable on so many fronts, you know. Well, Charlie, I just want to say that I really do admire you. I mean, oh, I'm not thanks, just Alex. here. I, I'm not just here saying, "Oh, I admire Charlie" because you're a big Hollywood TV star and you're on my show. And I mean, I really know you well over the years, and I know what you go through behind the scenes to to do this. And like a true hero, you never talk about it. No. Uh, you know all the stuff that was made up about you before. You were told, "Shut up, we're going to make up a bunch of crap," and they did. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, you know, in the nastiest way, and going after Cuban. Now in the New York Times, the White House calling him. I mean, this is heavy gangsters you're going up against, and you've gone through all of this, and you've come out smelling like a rose because the people know the media lies and spins. And, the, and what I want you to speak to next is, you put out the challenge to <laughs> John Mc, to John McCain's daughter and all these people. And they're afraid to debate you. I haven't heard anything back thus far, and we issued the challenge when, Alex? Last Friday. Last Friday. Yeah. All right. So we'll give them the weekend. You know, they were busy. Whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, no, we haven't. Uh, my 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 PR team has not received any calls. Uh, you haven't received any calls. I haven't received any calls. And um, it just seems uh, it seems you know very glaring in my opinion, that uh, what do they got to hide? What are they so afraid of? Let me just read one thing from the letter, Alex, that these, uh, you know, these talking heads, these talking pinheads need to, uh, need to be made aware of. Um, please keep in mind, Mr. President, everything I'm about to say is documented as fact and part of the public record. The information you are holding in your hands chronicles and verifies each and every point. Now, <laughs> Would you and I have written a statement like that just prior to the briefing if we didn't feel it was absolutely bulletproof and, and, and stood completely on its own? No, we wouldn't have. And now that is in the White House hands. Gibbs has it. They've called you back. You've talked to them. We have their emails. We didn't publish their emails or phone calls back to you. We published your emails to them, you know, out of respect to privacy, even though it's a public office of the White House press secretary, Gibbs. Sure. Uh, here you are saying, I'd like to meet with you with the 9-11 families. You're in contact with the 9-11 families. Here you are saying, I'd like to debate. And on top of that, Larry King was hot to have you on, but he said, we've got to have somebody on the other side. And then Larry King called you up last week, and they said, look, we can find no one to debate Charlie Sheen. It's incredible. Which, which yeah, which, which, which doesn't really support their whole argument because I'm a complete nutbag. I'm crazy, quote, unquote. Um, I have, uh, I have, what did Mustache call me? Mustache called me, um, he said I had a trick gene. Yes. Do we even, do we know what a trick gene is, Alex? I think you got to have a trick gene to be able to grow a stromboli mustache. <laughs> science team on that right away um so if stromboli is going to attack me with a trick gene um shouldn't be he be held responsible for at least explaining what that means well that's or, or are we giving him too much airtime and too much credit well you know geraldo rivera is a joke in his own right and all he did was use lies innuendo say you were hurting the families the families all, almost to a person, the news says over 75% didn't like the commission and said it was a fraud and a cover-up. Sure. There's, there's all those famous photos and videos of them holding up signs saying cover-up. Right. And they're up there knowing that's the case, lying and claiming they represent the families and then saying you're hurting the families. Um, when it was Bush that blocked the families being able to sue Saudi Arabia for that connection, that brings me to, to another point you uh, made off-air. 
and, and that's about Hollywood yep. and their so-called anti-war stance. Yeah, it just seems a little, uh, a little hypocritical in my book, at least, um, that they're, they're, everybody is so outspoken against the war, but they, they seem like they're forgetting the reason that the war began. It seems like they're forgetting what, uh, what had to take place prior to both wars being launched. And, um, so I don't feel, um, I'm not saying like I can't handle this out here on my own because I went into the fire and, uh, you know, I'm 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 ready to carry the flag. I'm ready to deliver the message. I'm ready to do whatever I have to do to keep the fight going, to keep this, you know, to keep focus on the issue. Um, but I just, um, yeah, it might have been nice if somebody came forward and said, "I got your back, bro. I got your back." But um, you know, I guess everybody's too worried about uh, the things they're worried about. And you know what? That they're they're absolutely entitled to to, to take that that position. Um, I'm not saying I respect it. I'm not saying I disrespect it. But um, to say I wasn't slightly disappointed uh, would be a, would be a lie.